Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Tim Salmon. I'm Senior Director of Engineering here at GitLab, and I'm very happy to give you today a very quick overview where we are currently at with dashboards, but also what we have currently in development and hopefully can release in the next couple of weeks. Uh, this is uh, based on the fact that we have just deployed in production our first internal preview of product analytics. Um, and we wanted to give a quick outlook of what's already in the pipeline and what's coming as additionally on top of this, especially as dashboarding will uh, include in this first uh, uh, round uh, both product analytics, but also value stream analytics uh, components that you can add to your own dashboards. What you have in front of here, of uh, what we have here in front of us is uh, the list of dashboards, both the ones that we are shipping with GitLab. So you have two um, dashboards that we are shipping already so that you have very easily and very fast uh, insights into your product analytics data, but also value stream analytics data, for example. And um, on the other hand, you will be able to create your own dashboards based on your needs and uh, based on, for example, your project or your group. Uh, the, we will have dashboards on both of those levels so that you can uh, create them accordingly. Um, we want to create now a new dashboard. So we are going to call this Monday Dashboard Demo. We are going to save this. What does this mean? This is now saved into a YAML file, into a, another repository. Uh, another repository uh, due to the fact that we ha can have completely different access rights and write rights than the actual repository where we are, for example, showing the dashboards. So this gives us way more flexibility and possibilities in the future as we want to have uh, full support for different um, setups and so on. What we are going to do now is we are going to use our also another new feature in Product Analytics. We are able to create our own queries and visualizations. So I want to know, for example, um, the unique users um, that are using our application on a daily basis. Um, now we can see here a preview of the data from uh, our database. We want to have this visualized with a line chart and can have a quick overview um, who is how many users we have on a daily basis. So we are going to call this daily users, our visualization. And now we are going to add this to the dashboard. Adding to the dashboard means that this visualization with the query accordingly were now saved also to their own YAML file, which will make it very easy in the future to reuse such visualizations across multiple dashboards. Um, on top of that, for example, we have uh, also other existing dashboarding uh, visualizations, There's, those are already stored in other files, so you can very easily add them too. Um, you can name them, and in the future you will be also able to edit different options uh, on this overview uh, for each of those uh, different dashboards, uh, these different widgets. What you also have here is um, also the capability to add um, a Dora's uh, metric uh, component for a specific uh, project or a group. Uh, this will be also configurable when we are going to ship this. And you will be able, of course, to add multiple of those, which makes this very interesting as you really can put together exactly uh, a dashboard based on your needs so that you can have insights on both the productivity of your teams, but also on how um, your product is used, for example, for a specific area. Uh, we are going to save this now. This is, as said, now saved again to the YAML file and can be easily uh, used now by all the other users watching this project, um, giving you a quick insight. Here is now my other project, which has now in a dashboard subfolder in, in .gitlab, product analytics, our Monday dashboard demo YAML file. And um, yeah. Um, this will enable us to hopefully add a lot of different components to the capabilities of dashboard. So this is really any view component that we have already in the product, going from security, dashboarding capabilities over to plan, burn down charts, uh, member lists, and so on. Uh, we can definitely add also to those dashboard editor capabilities in the future. And yeah, looking forward to already the first feedback internally and then hopefully also soon from customers. Thanks a lot for watching this one and take care and see you soon.